Dear fellow colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, we're living in a remarkable era of technological revolution where the growth of digital and artificial intelligence is transforming our world at an unprecedented pace. However, this transformation also presents significant challenges and one of the most pressing of this is the need to cultivate and maximize women's leadership. As we all know, Women have historically been underrepresented in leadership positions, and this remains true in the modern societies. Consider these statistics. According to a recent report, women hold only 24% of tech jobs and only 11% of executive positions in Silicon Valley are held by women. We can change this by creating a more inclusive and diverse environment that encourages women to lead in the digital and AI era. To cultivate and maximize women's leadership in the current situation, we need to break down the stereotypes associated with the gender roles in the society. As Nobel Prize winner Mary Curie once said, we must have perseverance and above all confidence in ourselves. We must believe that we are gifted for something and that this something must be attained. It is essential to recognize and value women's skills and potential in all industries. We also need to provide more opportunities for women to develop leadership skills such as mentorship programs, networking events, and leadership training courses. According to a recent report by McKenzie and Company, companies with more diverse leadership teams are more likely to outperform their peers. By investing in women's leadership development, we can create a pipeline of female leaders who can take charge in various industries. Encouraging women to take risks and pursue opportunities is crucial. According to a report by PwC, women are less likely to apply for a job if they don't meet all the qualifications, whereas men are more likely to apply even if they only meet some of the requirements. Women often hold back from leadership roles due to a fear of failure or a lack of confidence. We need to create an environment that supports and encourages women to take risks and pursue their ambitions. Addressing the gender pay gap is also essential. Women are still paid less than their male counterparts, and this creates a disincentive for women to pursue leadership roles. According to a report by Glassdoor, the gender pay gap in the tech industry is 5.4%, meaning that women earn 95 cents for every dollar earned by men. As Nobel Prize winner Mohammed Yunus once said, when you invest in a woman, you invest in a community. By providing equal pay and creating a fair and equitable work environment, we can attract and retain female talent in all industries. Lastly, creating an environment that values diversity and inclusion is crucial. As Nobel Prize winner Toni Morrison once said, the very serious function of racism is distraction. It keeps you from doing your work. It keeps you explaining over and over again your reason for being. We need to promote diversity in hiring practices, creating a safe and inclusive workplace, and encouraging collaboration between team members. By embracing diversity, we can create a more innovative and creative industry that is better equipped to tackle the challenges of the digital and AI era. There are many female leaders in various fields that we can learn from. Just to name a few, 
Mrs. Angela Merkel served as the Chancellor of Germany for 16 years, making her one of the longest serving leaders in the world. Mrs. Mary Robinson served as the first female president of Ireland. Mrs. Jacinda Ardern was the Prime Minister of New Zealand, and at the age of 37, she became the world's youngest female head of government. Ms. Mary Barra is the CEO of General Motors, making her the first female CEO of a major global automaker. Ms. Jeannie Romati is the former CEO of IBM, and during her tenure, she led the company transformation from a hardware-focused business to a more software and service-oriented company. Ms. Adana Friedman is the CEO of Nasdaq. The list of names is very long. We can learn so much from this remarkable and extraordinary women in our times. In conclusion, cultivating and maximizing women's leadership is not just a matter of fairness. It is a matter of urgency. We cannot afford to waste the talent and potential of half of our population. We need to break down the barriers that prevent women from reaching their full potential and create a more inclusive and diverse industry that values the skills and contribution of all. As Malala Yousafzai once said, we cannot all succeed when half of us are held back. Let us work together towards a future where women's leadership is not just the exception, but the norm. Thank you for your attention.